would that woman who decided to have an abortion, which would be considered an illegal abortion, be charged with murder? Okay, let's go back to the basic question there. Is that a human being? Is that a little boy or girl? If it is, it deserves equal protection on the law. So you're saying yes? Yes, I am. If it's a human being, if, if it's an American citizen there, a little baby, I don't care what, what nationality it is, it deserves equal rights before the law. You just listened to a 2019 WITF radio interview featuring Doug Mastriano, who, as you all know, may be the next governor of Pennsylvania, which is terrifying. Now, at the time of that interview, he was the lead sponsor on legislation that would ban abortion at the six week mark, which is when most women don't even know that they're pregnant. But as you can tell, this individual is as extreme as you can possibly be when it comes to the issue of abortion, and not much has changed since 2019 because he just said this last week. The issue of life, as Ronald Reagan delineated in 1984, he goes, uh, in this whole debate, it's still the same, is that it doesn't seem like we're talking much about the baby anymore. And so uh, we, we are still talking about life. It's the single most important issue, I think, in our lifetime. So just a little bit of a pro tip, whenever you hear a forced birther say that abortion is the most important issue to them, understand what you're getting yourself into if you support this individual. He is unquestionably going to crack down on abortion. And whether or not, as governor, he actually tries to criminalize abortion to the extent that women get tried for murder... That's a different story, but he absolutely is planning to take aim at women's reproductive rights. As Jezebel explains, he told the Pro-Life Coalition of Pennsylvania last week that if elected, he looks forward to signing into law either a ban on abortion after six weeks or a ban in the second trimester. We can fulfill and achieve most of our desires in protecting life when we win on 8 November, he said. Now, currently in Pennsylvania, you can get an abortion up until either the 24th or 25th week, but to scale it back to six weeks, you're effectively banning abortion in that state. And for him to say second trimester, absolutely don't believe him at all. Again, remember, at the beginning of this video, you heard him say that women should be charged with murder because he believes to get an abortion means you're killing a child. Now, keep in mind, we're talking about zygotes here. Most abortions happen within that first 10-week period. So to claim that a clump of cells effectively is tantamount to a child and to dispose of said clump of cells is tantamount to murder, this person is clearly deranged and should be nowhere near power. And this isn't the only issue where he's an extremist. Doug Maestriano is also a 2020 election truther, one of the largest in the MAGA movement. Of course, he's been endorsed by Donald Trump, and he's also a Christian nationalist, meaning God is above government. In other words, if there are constitutional or state and federal laws that may block a Republican from imposing some theocratic law, well, that doesn't matter because God is superior to all man-made laws. That's the individual who could become the governor of Pennsylvania. And I'd be remiss to not point out that the reason why he was able in part to win the GOP primary in the state of Pennsylvania is because Democrats in their infinite wisdom thought that by propping him up and helping him win the GOP primary, they'd have a better chance at beating him in November. And as Politico explains in this article here, there were other Democrats who thought that this strategy was absolutely reckless and unethical. But yet, here we are, like it or not, he is the Republican Party's nominee. And I think that as horrible as he is, he is the perfect representation of the modern Republican Party. They are morally bankrupt, and all that they want to do is control other people. When it comes to women's reproductive rights, they want women to have no control, and they want to criminalize abortions as much as they can. But it's not just women who they're trying to control. All across the country, in states like Virginia, Florida, Texas, they're trying to restrict freedom of expression when it comes to gender identity, and they're trying to curtail civil rights and civil liberties. So this party that tries to portray itself as, you know, a party of small government, they want the largest government possible. The only small elements about the GOP's governing philosophy is that they want government small enough to fit in your bedrooms and in women's uteruses, if I you know, am able to co uh, quote an old cliche from the 2010s. But that's where we are. Doug Mastriano in 2019, just a couple of years ago, said women should be charged with murder if they get abortions. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. 
because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.